Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rebecca Seuss, I'm a registered nurse, and have been doing aesthetic injections for seven years. At the Refinery Skin Clinic, we believe in education, so we have started a year-long series entitled The Truth Is, where we break down all of the aesthetic services we perform. Today, I will be talking to you about Kybella and answering some of the most asked questions around this procedure. Let's get started. Kybella isn't really a new discovery in that it is a derivative of a naturally occurring bile acid that we make during the digestion of fatty foods. Allergan, the same people that make Botox, have patented a non-animal derived version of that same deoxycholic acid that we already make naturally. And just like that, we have Kybella. In April of 2015, the FDA approved the use of this formulated deoxycholic acid to address the small packet of fat that is under the chin, also called submental fat. So who was this product designed for? Anyone, really. Although the approved on-label use of Kybella is for the double chin, any area of fat can be addressed using Kybella. We recommend sticking with smaller areas such as the armpit or bra area, the back, or small areas in the abdomen. We can also use Kybella to contour areas that have previously been treated with other fat reduction modalities such as liposuction, cool sculpting, or laser lipo. There are a few exceptions as to who cannot receive Kybella, but they would be those who have excess or loose skin with no underlying fat. If there is an infection or irritation at the injection site, we would just wait for that to heal. And of course, those who are pregnant or breastfeeding. The treatment itself is relatively easy, as we will see later on, but you may feel some burning or aching while the medication is being injected. I'd like to reassure clients that this is simply the fat dying. You can expect some swelling one to two days post-treatment. This is easily camouflaged with a scarf or high neck sweater. As the swelling subsides, you will begin to notice after about six to eight weeks that the neck is beginning to look tighter and leaner with your optimal results showing at 12 weeks. The best part of this treatment is that the results are permanent. Consultations are always complimentary and recommended to determine how many kits of Kybella are needed and how many treatments we break it into. Most people require one to four kits of Kybella and they can be broken down into two, four, or eight treatments. The more we do it once, the longer the swelling will last post-treatment, but the faster you will see those results. So it really is a personal decision based on your work and social calendar. Here you can see a live demonstration of what the treatment looks like. On Tracy, we're using just a small half kit of Kybella to work on a small pocket of fat just underneath the chin. So with all of her markings on, you can see once she bulges out, um, pressing her tongue up against the roof of her mouth, she just pops out a little pocket of fat there, which we've marked out. The grid that's laid right over the top here shows uh, the multicolored grid really gives us kind of our, our injection pattern. So everything is nice and laid out for us. We know exactly where we're going. We've marked out her no-go zones and we know that the injection that she's about to receive is going to be safe. So using just a half a kit of Kybella, again, it's going to be a pretty quick and easy treatment. We just go really pretty fast um, because as we said before there is some tenderness that can start to kind of burn we don't want to prolong the process any longer than we have to so you can see we're going just off to the side of those little dots that are marked on there uh, we definitely want to prevent going into them directly it can leave a small uh, tattoo almost onto the skin so we don't go right into to the dot just off to the side of it And you can see she's starting to get a little red, um, a little bit of the swelling is starting to kind of kick in. The tenderness starts right about now. The initial needle pokes themselves are not very bad. Most people tolerate those very well. Um, but it's after you get a couple pokes in that that uh, burning can kind of start. And again, that burning is the fat dying, so it's the actual um, breaking down of the, the fat cell itself. The medicine getting in there and doing what it needs to do. So just a couple more spots here going just right into the fat pad. 
Get in that Kybella in there. So you can see the treatment itself is really very, very quick. Here are some before and after photos using Kybella. In this photo, we used half a kit of Kybella to the submental or chin area to tighten the jawline and give her a stronger profile. In this client, we used two kits of Kybella. The treatments were done six weeks apart. The after is 12 weeks after her final session. Here we are looking to reduce the fullness underneath the chin. She was also treated with some Voluma in the cheeks and Juvederm in the lips as well. This is a great photo of halfway through a treatment. Here we've used one kit and she's at the six week mark. She was just looking for a little more profile definition. And finally, in this client, we used half a kit of Kybella, not under the chin, but in her jowls. Traditionally, we may have used a hyaluronic acid filler to try to reduce the look of the nasal labial folds or the marionette lines. But instead, using just half a kit of Kybella reduced the fullness in the jowls and gave a tighter look to the lower face. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Kybella. I appreciate your time. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to me via email or visit our website for more information or online appointment booking.